Hello and welcome to a attempt at restarting the series of top 5 things I hate about. Now today I will be doing it about Skyrim which is a great game. Trust me I am not trying to say it is a bad game because it is a great game. Um, but it does have its problems like every other game and it would be nice if for the next Elder Scrolls installment that there would be fixed or improved. Okay, right, let's go on to the first reason. Now the first reason is combat. Combat is so repetitive. For all classes, it is so simplistic. For the mage, the thief and the warrior, and for the hybrid classes as well, they just swing, swing, swing with the sword, or block every now and then. With the mage it's just throw fireballs until it's dead, and then with the thief, it's a little bit more interesting with the thief because it involves stealth, but the stealth gameplay is quite bad. Now, this it will be hopefully fixed in the next game. I can see them fixing this, but it really makes the gameplay just a little bit more of a chore, if you know what I mean. Instead of going into a dungeon and loving every second of it, you can go through half the dungeon, loving it, then through the other half, getting a bit bored of it because the dungeons are quite big this game. Now right, number two. It is too easy. I can play on expert with nearly no fear of dying. I'm not very good. I can see someone who has played a lot of previous installments strolling through this with on master with little difficulty. I mean that shouldn't be available to be done. I mean if I can go through an expert with little experience of the games. I've played Oblivion for a bit and I've played obviously played Skyrim for a bit. But if going through them quite easily uh to expert, it should be more difficult, you know, not I usually play on normal and that's difficult enough for me. Um right, number three. Dragons are a huge letdown. Now I haven't heard anyone say this but in my opinion they're a massive letdown. They seem to just to be in set places and as soon as you walk, you just see them fly up, swoop around, they land, and then you attack them with the sword. It's boring, you know. I was hoping for something much better. Um, you know, it'd be nice if you could see them flying far away in the distance instead of having, if you see one, you've got to kill it, you know, or run away until it leaves you alone. But, um,. If you could see them in the distance, it'd really add to the immersion and it'd be a really awe-inspiring sight, if you know what I mean, just seeing a dragon fly in the distance. And it'd really add some fear in the game, because they are quite scary creatures. Also, they are really kind of, you know, they're boss dra uh, dragons and all that. Why aren't they just a bit bigger? You know, they're a little bit, you know, it'd be nice to have a dragon that was three, four times the size of a normal dragon. Now you can set scale on PC, but that just glitches it, so it's not really worth it. Right, number four. Quests are repetitive. Now I know it's like this on most RPGs, but it, all they are are go to set place, kill set item, or collect set item. Now, it'd be nice if there was some little bit more uh, variety. Now I know there are some different quests, but that's mostly what they are. Number five, facial animations break immersion. They are so damn robotic. On Oblivion they were awful, Skyrim they are still pretty damn awful. Um, they just, they're so immersion breaking that when you go into uh, a conversation and you look at their face, you sometimes just laugh because it's that bad. I mean, they're better than Oblivion, yeah, they're not as flat as Oblivion, but they're still, compared to the other games at this time, they're, they're pretty awful. Um, that will also be fixed in later games, I'm certain of that, when technology develops. Okay, they were my five reasons. Uh, comment if you agree, comment if you disagree, like. Remember, if you're going to dislike, dislike for a decent reason. If you're going to dislike because you don't agree with me, then what's the point in having an opinion? You know, if you try and say your opinion, you get disliked. That's, you know, it's a bit silly. Um, OK, 
Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment if you think I should do another one of these on a different game. Uh, I'll do it on any game, popular, unpopular. Um, I might even do top five things I like on the less popular games. That'd make it interesting. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye.